Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to podcast episode 7. Long overdue, but I think there's a bit of irony in episode 7, seven months after the last episode. Anyway, to get to this word, to get towards tonight's episode, in this episode, we have but nostalgia followed by it goes incredibly hard and finally to end it all off we have pringles have been coming out of my ears if you do enjoy this episode please leave a like and subscribe it is greatly appreciated anyway let's get to it hello and welcome back after a very long while to episode seven of podcast uh it took way longer but anyway i digress we'll get right into this one Way longer, indeed. This oh, yeah. is true. <laughs> so what was it? Seven been months? Like eight, eight, eight months. Seven, eight months. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're joined once again by uh, Ollie and Craig, the my two partners in crime, if you will, uh, on today's uh, shenanigans episodes. operators. Yeah, that one. Yeah, uh, it'd be a little bit rusty, but we'll we'll get back into it with uh, no problem. So, boys, seven months. Lots changed. Shit happens. Um, but I noticed that as you get older, I know. We're, we're, we're oh quite no, we're no, still, no, no, it's been seven years. months. Yeah. Yeah. Seven months. Uh, I'm 20 in May. Oh, I turned to, what, 20? What, 20, <sighs> what, a month 21. ago? Um, Dude, you're going 21 this year. But now. nostalgia and that feeling of nostalgia. Do you ever look at things that you, used to be just normal to you back in the day and then all of a sudden you look at it now and it just feels... I don't know, it just hits different. It could be the most awful thing, but back in the and back in the time you hated it, but now that you look at it, you think, oh, actually, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, yeah, hit I agree, yeah. Yeah, the nostalgic value does, does <laughs> Craig, definitely make look we're like, better. what, yeah. a minute 30 in? <laughs> Craig, you can't be saying things <laughs> like that. We're trying not to get fans. <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on. Yeah, Ollie, what were you saying about nostalgia? I was just saying how, you know, like in um, 70, 80 years time, people may look back on Putin in the same way we look back on <laughs> these days, you know? <laughs> I fucking hate both of you. <laughs> Alright, can we, can we move uh, away from authoritarian that. leaders and back to something, I don't know, like a bit more lighthearted? Nah, but um, I know, yeah. I know um, recently. If I'm not mistaken, yesterday the day before, you were um, looking at YouTube rewinds, and then you actually got like a rating system and stuff for it. We do, yeah, we did. We did. We yes. did spend a good hour and a half of our lives ranking all the YouTube rewinds to define the definitive YouTube rewind. Yes, this this list uh, we comprised it, and I will pop it up onto the screen now. Um, but this list uh, we went through from 2010 to 2019, so we did exclude the Mr. Beast one because it wasn't an official YouTube YouTube rewind. It was also mid as fuck. So it mid it was it was quite mid. I won't lie. Um, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been like anywhere near the bottom, but. Yeah, it wasn't yeah really no, no, yeah, no, it's true. But, but, uh, yeah, it just, yeah, it was all right. Um, but we watched these, um, and for those of you who don't know, um, YouTube Rewind is uh, effectively an end of year wrap up made by YouTube, um, where they get, they did, they just look back on trends and music and content creators of the year. It's, oh, pardon me. Um, it's quite good, but. They sort of, um, as as the years went on, it it became less lighthearted, fun montage of goofy things, uh, and became rather. They tried to they tried to get like you know they tried to get political with it and all that, which which I don't, I don't think YouTube Rewind should be about really. I think it should just be yeah. celebrating what's happened on YouTube and what content creators on YouTube have done that year. Yeah, I while mean... throwing into memes and trends at the same time. That's what made it popular in the first place, anyway. Well, I mean, 2018 was quite popular, and that was the worst one of them all. But, um, but yes, the list was uh, amazing, and it, uh, it was, it was, it was actually wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> as we got to the latter years, I, I was, I was looking at these, and I was thinking to myself, "Oh God, where is this going? It's, it's only downhill from here." But some of the earlier ones, you get that hit of nostalgia. We like Ollie. We were watching it. Um, and all and, and Craig because we watched it as well afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'd be watching it and then a song would come on and we'd be like, "Ah, oh, fuck! I haven't heard that in ages." Or you'd see someone and you go, "I recognise that person from my like watching YouTube as a kid, but I don't, I can't quite remember him." 
Or, yeah, or like, or like you'd see like trends that existed like eight years ago that you'd forgotten all about and like dab. memes and stuff like that. And dab. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I just, I just, Daniel, I, Daniel hit me hard. I, I, I have to say, that. I have to say, the fact that the dab, blah, 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 the fact that the dab was in for two years is a disgrace to humanity, and we should all repent for this because that was disgraceful. Well, this Actual is the reason humanity is not going to progress. Yes. I mean, ever, I don't ever since the dam came yeah. down, society has collapsed, and it's just disgraceful. Actually, disgraceful. I mean, I didn't but... even notice it because James Corden was also in both. Oh of those. dear That's God! True. Don't even That's get true. me started. I'm surprised. Well, I years. am genuinely surprised that they didn't reference cats, as in that god awful movie. That, oh no! That, I'm, I'm... that we're just gonna. Why? Oh, uh, why? <laughs> yeah, please, please no. Please, um, God. But what we did is we um we ranked them all on a few categories. So we gave uh, a category for entertainment, as in, well, I mean, that one's self-explanatory, how entertaining it was. Uh, one for relatability, which I think we probably should have put more as nostalgia. Um, yeah, I just think being able to relate to it's actually pretty good, you know, because if it's just full of stuff you don't know, then it's it's not very fun to watch, really. I think it's sort of, yeah. it's a mix between nostalgia and entertainment. Yeah. Um, the third one, the third category went to iconic, as in how iconic the video itself was, um, mm -hmm. for both good and bad reasons. Uh, and there was a fourth category for music, like how good was the mashup, how entertaining was it? Um, and the fifth and final category was a negative point category for cringe points. Every time there was bits where you just sort of go, oh, that just, you know, it just hasn't aged well, you, we would negate those points away. Yeah, or just the entire 2018 video, really, pretty much. Well, I'm surprised, <laughs> well, funny you should say that, because that one was actually 8th of 10. Um, yeah, but like, only because it was 10 for Iconic, because everyone watched that video. Yes. Other than that, it was pretty much bottom in everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is true. I mean, the 2019 one was by far the lowest scoring one, but the 2018, yeah, the 20, the 2018, zero. yeah, the 2018 one was the one that was punished the most. Um, yeah, in cringe. Um, I mean, deservedly so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this is true. So, so Ollie, do you want to uh, do you want to give him the? Uh, the, from third to first, which years would you recommend if you're going to suffer through YouTube Rewind? Which one would you put? I, mean, I, I would say if you just watch these top three, you wouldn't be suffering. Like it would actually be pretty good because these are all decent videos. Like I would watch them again. So in third we had 2012, which was I, th I think pretty good. Solid score of 24 overall. It did well in like entertainment and relatability. You know, it was just very, it's very good stuff. And there a lot of. A lot of good music, good YouTubers, good trends and stuff like that. I think that was the Gangnam Style, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah, YouTube, yeah it comes on screen, smashes the guitar and goes, YouTube Rewind Style! Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Then, then uh, in second place, you had 2013, which was also very good. Uh, just outscoring 2012, we got 25. Um, Wasn't that uh, Harlem Shake? I don't remember that. And that was Harlem Shake was in that and one. Nene. And Nene. Nene. yeah. Was oh, that yes. the one where they also did like did like the crash into the floor from that? No, that was twenty fourteen. Like, that was oh, twenty fourteen. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. God, please, can we forget that the Nene and the Harlem Shake ever existed? Um, and, Harlem Shake was funny back in the and day. And our first place, the the top, it. the top one, Ollie. Our first place wasn't really that close. Um, good all round video quality, not too cringy. Had good music, um, good entertainment, good relatability. Uh, quite iconic, I think. Um, it's twenty sixteen. Scored a total of 32 miles. He did have the rock, though. Like, you know, had the I rock. Just, yeah, I think that, that should be a point Gordon, down. We, we, we did the opposite, see, Craig. Yeah, you, weren't, rock, you weren't on the panel when we, when we came up. Yeah, with no, I would have absolutely punished it for the rock. At least a point or two. We went, we, we, we gave points for the rock being there. And then, oh. and then James Corden arrived. So they sort of like cancelled each other out like a yin and yang. Um, and no, then, there's no yin and yang with them. It's just yang. It's and, just then, and then Casey, uh, and then Casey Neistat appeared. <laughs> And that was yeah, you know, but he's all, in all of them. He was he's literally yeah. all of them. He was also in the twenty um the twenty twenty Mr. Beast one. Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. He just worms his way slowly into every YouTube rewind. It's how he keeps his relevance. But I think we should talk about 2018's one because obviously everyone knows that one. It's the only one on the entire scoreboard to score not a ten, not just in one category, but two. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, uh, no one, nothing else. 2016 didn't even get a single 10. It was 9998. 
and minus three for cringe. But 2018 had a 10 in iconic and a minus 10 for cringe. Do you want to explain the thought process there, Ollie, on the iconic? I mean, part? just, just, just. I mean, everyone's watched the video. It's the most disliked video on YouTube. If you ask anyone about YouTube Rewind, they think of 2018. You know, Will Smith. <laughs> yeah, it's rewind time. <laughs> and then uh, the, you know Fortnite Ninja, the battle bus, oh, the K-pop thing. Um, yeah, that's what this video needs. K-pop. Oh, everyone. It K-pop. hurts. It hurts. My, I just. Ugh. Yeah, it has to be a ten iconic. But then at the same time, when you watch it, it's an actually difficult watch because. But they were just, just oh, it's just something. Yeah, they were, they were just, I mean, Craig can also testify to this. There's lots of moments where there's just no music and it's all doom and gloom and showing like, oh, you know, oh, disasters and, and tragedy. Like, I don't, I don't want to think about the tragedies. Yeah, like I'm, I'm like, not. Like a video for like yeah. that one video. It's fine. Okay, we get like news recaps anyway at the end of years. So like, why does that need to be on? Yeah, YouTube this, Rewind. Yeah. That this just the year where YouTube sense. Rewind tr- uh, changed from just being like a fun mashup of all the memes and the big content creators of the year and changed into something else. And well, uh, obviously, well, you know, the world didn't like it. Well, yeah, it was just... It, there's a place in the world always for doom and gloom and news and such and so on and such forth because it's... It's called the news. Yeah, it's called the news. <laughs> um, literally pull up any news article and, and or news outlet, sorry, and there'll be some yeah, depressing here we story. Go. Here we go. You know what? I actually have the perfect example of this. Josh Man here <laughs> was actually trying to find funny news, funny current events of of uh for like this week yeah, or whatever. Yeah, just some. And some literally, he about. he literally looked up funny current events or something like this, and then. Uh, Google was like, oh, you want current events? And just gave them all, like, actual depressing oh, shit. Yeah, like so Trump it's saying, easy World to find it. World War easy, easy to such. find it. It's, yeah. it's super, super easy to find it. So the fact that YouTube was like, oh, yeah, let's also have this in or rewind. It's just, it was so unnecessary, but yeah. Yeah, it was just, I don't know. It was really, really kind of... Uh, it was Every, just everything about the video it was, was terrible. Cool. There was no good, apart from the first ten seconds. Big up Nick A thirty um, <laughs> making a casual appearance into YouTube Rewind. Didn't yeah. notice that the first like two times I watched it. Yeah, but um, but while watching it, as I was saying, you're bringing up things from your childhood and such songs, like Craig. Craig, what was that yeah. song you run about earlier? Yeah. So um, I was just uh, talking to Josh about this, and we thought it was quite uh quite interesting so when all the rewind songs were coming up i was thinking of like even older like nostalgic songs and there's a song i think it's called chunky i think it's called chunky and it's from madagascar too when moto <laughs> moto comes out of the water and it's absolute dog shit but like it's <laughs> kind of slap still it had a resurgence not so long ago um yeah because the meme of him coming out the water became popular again for a while but then it's sort yeah. of fell off i mean I, when i watched it with you last night the youtube rewinds i remember laughing when i saw jake paul so you uh, only that bit when yeah, they both come yeah. out and stuff I oh saw jake, yeah, yeah i saw jake okay. paul and i was like uh and, and craig uh I was brought talking that up. about it yeah. um and i and i said i've never watched jake paul i never enjoyed their content not even as a kid and i still don't enjoy their content now but there was one song that Jake Paul made called Ohio Fried Chicken. It is terrible. But, I've, I've but just it, but it, last night. It, it was terrible, Craig. It is a terrible song. <laughs> it's um, a really bad song. <laughs> but it's like, but like, now that now that because I I I, well, I I was told about that song back in secondary, I think it was, um, and it was. And even and back even back then it was terrible. But now that you've you know, secondary's been and gone a little while ago now. And all of a sudden I looked at it last night, and I still hadn't forgotten the words. I was I just watched yeah, it. Was it. Weird. it was weird. It was weird. It was it was just it, it was just a bit out there. So like Ollie, is there any songs that sort of like take you back? Uh, oh, like... I was thinking of um, in you to rewind. Uh... And I'm trying to remember now. Um. Levels. Oh, Levels. 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 Yes, I like that, that one. one. That was, was a really big one for me growing up. Um, well, I think Gangnam like, Style always pocket. very iconic. Do you have yes. any like out of pocket songs? Like, for oh. example, the Jake Paul one and the <laughs> Chunky one from fucking. Yeah, so it's just absolutely too. terrible, but. 
I mean, that god awful Lil Pump song comes to mind. Like, to be fair, I remember Logan Paul's diss track to his brother, Jake. I, I still I can do the words to that still. I haven't seen I, it at I all. I can remember, I, I pretty solidly remember the words of um, Rosa Shaw's first diss track to KSI. Oh my god. I can that's, pretty that's solidly remember them. the words that's to that. Slap. Even, that even, it goes even, hard. Even, that was like even I'm lost them. now. Um, <laughs> no, I'd never watched any of that. I, I was never big on diss tracks and stuff. I mean, you guys know me. I'm not a huge fan of like rap songs and stuff. So diss tracks were just doing yeah. Like, yeah, fair enough. I mean, I just, I just, yeah, I can remember that one specifically. I don't know why. I watched them all back in the day, but I can remember that one specifically. <laughs> it goes hard, but yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, even just before we started recording this, I was just listening to music on Spotify, and the song "I Don't Care" came on, and it took me right back to 2013. Need for Speed, um, playing that, and you in, in. I think it was Most Wanted, and it just comes on the radio. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just came on the radio yeah. as you're driving away from the police. Uh, it was, it was, it was the shit back in the day. But that feeling of nostalgia is just un undefeated, untouchable. I think. I think there's nothing that you can really do to try and top that. That's yeah. great. It's why humans always looking for it, but you know, <laughs> we'll get more of it as we get old. But yeah, I mean, that's also yet. why Minecraft had a resurgence was from the nostalgia of it. That's true. That is true. Uh, and PewDiePie. Also because PewDiePie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but also he is nostalgia in himself. To be honest, for like a lot of people. Yeah, many people used to watch him back in the day. Don't watch him anymore. Yeah. I mean, it's, like, it's another thing about Rewind. You see all these YouTubers you haven't watched in ages, like... Um, Smosh. Smosh, Smosh, yeah. Uh, you watch uh, Tabascus! Yeah. Tabascus! I Tabascus. used to watch him so much when I was younger, and I just haven't seen him. I still remember all the Minecraft songs he made. They weren't inherently Minecraft-related, but they like had the art style. Do you remember, like, you had, like, Safety Torch and Chicken, uh, Nugget and a Biscuit and all that? There's, like, I don't know, it was... I sound like I'm a schizophrenic right now. Um, no, you just remind me of the Fallen Kingdom one, though, which is also oh, nostalgia yeah. in itself. That was good. And then, what was that other one? The like, piggy, 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 piggy. <laughs> I'm going to so be honest, bad. Craig. I have no idea. What <laughs> oh, my God. It was like a popular <laughs> song, and it was just... He was talking about piggies twerking. It was so weird. <laughs> Wait, pigs twerk? What? Jesus Christ. The Minecraft song about pigs twerking. Huge. Hold on. Wait. I have to find it. I have to find it. Oh god, that is that. No, is I, I, don't, I don't really want to do it. Yeah, right I'm going to be honest. Really I don't really want to hear about pigs twerking. It's not my uh, cup of tea. Uh, but, but but yeah, nostalgia. I mean, what man would put himself through watching all the YouTube rewinds unless he was trying to get nostalgia? Because it wasn't yeah. us. We were watching it to, to tier list them. We exactly. suffered, so you don't have to. <laughs> so a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> 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 But boys, we'll, we'll move away from nostalgia for a bit while Craig looks up his... Song. I have it, I have it by the way. So it was, it was based on, it was a Minecraft parody song from the song, uh, like, Wiggle. I don't know if you remember that song. No, no idea, Craig, I'm gonna be honest. Um, was, was that my part, was that my lump file? I let think me, it was. Let me, wiggle, 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 yeah. I think it might have uh... been this, yeah. Um, piggy, 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 yeah. yeah, and it was basically that sounds terrible. It was so bad. <laughs> the sounds genuinely awful. It was so bad, but it kind of slaps. <laughs> All right, so what we'll do? Anyway, anyway. We'll move away from nostalgia and pigs twerking and stuff. What is this? Twenty minutes in, and it's it's just it's deteriorating fast. It is. It is. Um, but we'll move away from that to some slightly smaller things. Did you hear, gentlemen, that Greece? is buying F-35s, and I bring this up for one reason and one reason only. For the, the nostalgia of how they're getting it, I'm assuming. <laughs> well, they are turning back time to look for it, because I'm because it's very likely that the money used to purchase these F-35s will be German war reparations. So they're feeling nostalgia for World War II and said, fuck it, we'll buy F-35s. Um, and it is, it's quite an entertaining story, because Turkey were about to get F-35s and then they bought Russian air defense so the US said we won't sell you F-35s. Um, so now that their neighbor Greece is getting F-35s they're not they're not very happy but um, and Greece and Turkey have uh, the best of relationships all the time never ever have they ever had a dispute at all. 
at all. No, no, no. We, 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 don't, talk about that. we don't talk about that. Oh god, that shut up with the nostalgia craze. <laughs> that YouTube video. If you were a Greek god, you would have win, but you have lose. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, <laughs> that video is um, that video is basically just a Turkish man and a Greek man arguing on the internet about uh, probably from guys. Berlin as well. Yeah, well, yeah, probably. Uh, but on the other topic of nostalgia, Russia getting very nostalgic. Um, yeah. Do you want to talk us through this one? Yeah, I mean, like, Russia just always, always enjoyed Alaska. I don't know if you know this, but they've, they've always appreciated Alaska, and that's why they sold it in 1867. I mean, it was a longer purchase than that, but I'm pretty sure, like, it was mostly set up anyway by... I think it was anyway, finalized by... in 1867. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 1867. And now, all of a sudden, uh, Putin is like... Ah! No, that's an illegal sale yeah. in 2024. Someone can do the maths on how long that is. Because well, I, I the, the question I the question I have wild. is, I'm pretty sure when they sold it, it didn't come under warranty or something. It's not a case of the Russia can say, "Oh, we want it back." You know, it's a bit broken, so give it back. Well, the money but, you gave us doesn't work. But, but also, like, I wouldn't really fuck with Alaskans. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be totally real here. Just what any Russian that ever decided to go over to Alaska to like take it back have fun <laughs> have fun yeah, it's like not even just the alaskans they also have terrifying uh oh, what are they called like codelec bears or something like this um <laughs> yeah, yeah no no they're like brown bears and polar bears together like yeah have fun being eaten i'm, <laughs> I'm cool with that <laughs> What you? So, I mean, the fact that he declared it um, occupied territory, I think, is remarkably funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Good luck, mate. Yes, you put your troops in your quote rightful territory and see what happens. Um, but, but moving aside, tradition and nostalgia go hand in hand. And Japan, for the longest time, has always had a tradition of blessing an aircraft before it takes to the skies, or at least the first produced aircraft of a line. Yeah. Ollie, do you wanna do you wanna talk through this one? Um, I'm gonna be honest. This 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 image it, it goes incredibly hard, right? It really, yeah. it really <laughs> does. The image up, it really does. But it goes so hard. It's basically a Japanese man blessing the first domestically produced F-35 in Japan. Yeah. I, I'll pop the picture on the screen. It is one of the hardest it's images. Incredibly hard image. Known to man. But yes, because they're produced domestically, they produce their own F-35. This was a little while ago, but it's still fairly... I mean, on the topic yeah, of F-35, it's, it's, just... it's relevant. It's just beautiful. Um, and this picture is so hard, you just have to see it. It is it is beautiful. Um, they, there was a full-on ceremony held uh, for this aircraft, uh, where it was um, blessed by the... I don't know. It was the, like the head, the the, head of the, um, the top-ranking Buddhist priest or whatever. Yes. Or, no, Sh Shinto priest, I mean. Shinto yeah, priest. Yeah, that one. Um, um, <laughs> yeah. Monk. Whatever. You know, words are hard sometimes, but yeah, their, their highest ranking monk, I'm pretty yeah. sure it was. Uh, absolutely beautiful. But gentlemen, now the time has come on the topic of nostalgia. I mean, this entire video is just, let, this will be the nostalgia edition of podcast. Um, <laughs> congratulations, we found the name. Um, That's huge. Before we started recording, we were talking about Crocs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Ollie, do you want to do you want to get us started? Because you started this before, and I said, "Wait, wait, don't talk about it. We can. This is this is. We can talk about this in a minute." Right, I was just asking what are the most you know what I think is a very important question. What is the hardest Croc collaboration of all time? I personally would go with the KFC Crocs. They go so hard. But you think I the KFC Crocs? Are the all KFC time. Crocs go so hard. Like the Mackey's ones go hard as well. But I don't know. I, I think mean, I think the. Um... I think the Mackie's ones are the best, but then I, I've only seen the Mackie's ones in person. Like I've actually seen them. My my yeah. coworker, um, I was doing I was doing a late shift, and he just said, I, I was just asking you know casual conversation. Oh, how's the shift going? He said, Oh yeah, no, I've just dropped seventy quid on a pair of Crocs. I said, What? And he goes, Yeah, I've just bought some Mackie's Crocs. I said, Fuck off. That's not real, is it? He said, Yeah. He showed me um the like. A week later, when they arrived, 
Yep, no, can confirm. Mackie's Crocs, real thing. Apparently they smell like Big Macs or something, or a mint. Uh, oh, that's yeah. horrible. No. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nasty. I was going to spend 90 euros on one now. I'm glad I haven't. I don't want Big Mac toes. Big Mac feet. <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> Well, yeah, you were also saying about some of the other collabs, like with Shrek. I yeah. mean, yeah, everyone knows about like the Shrek and the Lightning McQueen ones, you know. Oh, oh the Lightning right. McQueen yeah. ones go it's so funny. hard. They do go so hard, but also they're like they're like the most basic ones, I think, as well. Like if you think yeah, of, because like, you need rock collaborations, speed. you think of like. Yeah, but just put your Crocs in sport mode, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, but you also, if you've Lightning McQueen, you can go, I am speed, and I yum, you're faster Have than me. Have you guys seen anyone. the picture of the Tacti Crocs? The Tacti Crocs? The Tacti Crocs. Yeah. You know, oh, the, I you have. know the flap where you put it in um, sport yeah. mode? Um, yeah. When you put it back, you can attach little, like, bags, like, tactical, like, satchels to them. It's the Tacti Crocs. Honestly, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> they're the camouflaged and everything. The tactical clothing is so stupid because it's like a tactical kilt as well. <laughs> oh my god, please stop. It's it's not not everything needs to be tactical. What are the tactical benefits of a kilt or is it just a kilt that's camouflaged? No, it's a kilt that has like pockets and shit. Oh, get it's, in. It's, get it's in. It's so stupid. It's like, why? It's perfect for all your kilt tactical needs. For all of your... Uh, Denying English needs or something. I don't know, man. Like, I've, I've no idea. Haha, <laughs> funny. Haha, <laughs> funny. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I mean, to be fair, I did have to retire the gaming crocs recently. Uh, I got a new pair, so we have to say goodbye to the absolute gems uh, that were the original gaming crocs. I just hope and that he sure. donates them to his dog. That deserves them after right, should eating. They, and should, they go to, should they go to uh, Harry? They yeah, I, I, th I think they should go to Harry because well, he's I mean... been munching on them for years. He's been waiting. You've like blue balls, <laughs> the poor fucker. <laughs> I think it's time. I think it needs to. I think I'll um, I'll probably hand them off. I'll see what he does. Um, but I'll have to uh, run it by the uh, high command before I do because I don't think he'd appreciate going around the house. Picking up bits of croc after the I dog. mean, it's either that or you donate them over to a uh, poor Irishman. What, you want my gaming crocs? <laughs> I mean, I want, I want my video gaming crocs. Just as like a memento, you know? I've, uh, I've framed them in the whole lot, what, hang gonna, them up. Are you going to encase them in like resin or something? <laughs> yeah, maybe, I might do. You know, give them down I to have, a grandchildren. Have a glass case, put them in the background, you know, every time he turns his camera on, we'll see, see the old gaming crowd. Well, like on yeah, a pedestal, you know, you'll install a light Yeah, you, you'll get, like, nostalgia from, nostalgia from the Nostalgia from the cross. <laughs> Just to go. Produce more nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you can make the same about. thing, you know, you send him the Crocs first, then when your chair eventually goes, you send that off to Craig as well, you know, any broken... I'm just like, leave them, them in a storage in Ireland. Up the, uh, he was eyeing up my graphics card, um, but, yeah, I, but then was, I, uh, I was I trying to remind you it wasn't a really good idea, considering uh, Craig's it. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for that, guys, thank you, appreciate you're, it. You're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> no, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> God. No, but yeah, decided to uh, get an, a locally produced Irish 3080, you know, instead. Locally Definitely produced. locally produced. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, wait, they wait, found wait, it in a potato field. Local. One yeah, they, they did. They found it underneath a cabbage, so they did. So, uh, <laughs> underneath yeah. Underneath a cabbage, yep, now it's your property, that. Should also really find babies over here, too. What, just buried in the ground? No, like, they're underneath cabbage leaves and stuff. You have to, like, go looking through the cabbages. That's what, that's how Irish people are born. <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, but yeah, there you go. You're welcome. I, I didn't know that Irish people were born in cabbages. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I didn't know Irish like, people were born. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's true. You were like chemically produced. No, yeah. we actually don't exist. That's what, that's. Wait. The all this time. All this time, it's just been made a up by Northern Ireland. <laughs> yeah, to keep us <laughs> in Northern Ireland. <laughs> we don't <laughs> exist. They don't exist either. They're they're sinking to Atlantis with us. Get out of here. <laughs> Them fuckers don't get away with it. Um, please, take please, please. I don't want them anymore. <laughs> just causing shit all the time. I mean, their government's actually been out of uh, shut down for fucking ages now. 
Yeah, it's beautiful. But um, anyway, yeah, I, I, I do want to get off this topic before we uh, incriminate kind of ourselves, like get bombed or something. Uh, yeah, know, man. Um, <clears throat> and I was talking to Josh about this. Apparently, I don't talk to Ollie. This is what I'm finding out in this podcast episode, but that's okay. I was, I was talking to Josh about this, sorry, and sorry. then he ended up looking into his own local brand. And over here in Ireland, we have Tato's. That's our local crisp brand, right? Well, that's original, it is. It, it? It's 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 what we eat. <laughs> got you gotta gotta get it. You know? it to, to be Tato's. fair, oh, cool. to be fair mm. it wasn't that bad, Ollie. When we went over to Ireland, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> like, well, we only went to Dublin, which apparently is awful. No, no, Ireland. Dublin isn't Ireland. Dublin is its own thing. Dublin is. We haven't. We haven't been. To no, Ireland. no. That's just like going to any capital city and saying that you've then been to the country. Like if you go to Paris, that's not France. That's Paris. If you go to London, that's not England. That's London. If you go to like, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but like if you go to Istanbul, that's not Turkey. You know, that's just specifically it has its own culture. And same thing with Tokyo and whatever else. Do they whatever. carry on naming capital, capital cities? Yeah, and you know, Moscow, and then you have like, yeah, Prague. anyway. Yeah, Prague, Berlin, 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 Berlin Copenhagen, Berlin, Stockholm. All right, let's, sorry, let's stop because now we're just, we're actually <laughs> yeah. just straight, just fucking waffling. Being which, silly. Which is the point silly. of podcast as a whole. But, um, <laughs> just remember. Podcast? podcast? Not podcast. It's not podcast. Yeah, yeah it's a it's question. The question mark is the key to all of this. Yeah. Proper um, English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Tatos. Tatos. Right. So I was I was talking to him about Tatos and how they seem to like own a lot of like different kind of crisps over here, like all different sorts. Like you have Monster Munch, you have fucking snacks, you have tons, and these Monster are all Lunch different. Is walkers. Yeah, it is. Yeah. No, it's also no, no. no it is walkers. walkers. I literally no, looked this no, up. You're can't be saying I, I will start you, another you probably war. Probably got some this. knockoff yeah. pirate. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to start yeah. a war then because it's always been walkers. <laughs> no, but like you know, like you have different fucking brands that are under it. Yeah, like yeah. walkers have Monster Munch and Pringles. Oh, no, okay, Ollie. Okay, okay, Ollie. Wait, no, it's a kick him while he's down. But chill yeah, out. Chill can, out. Man. They also have like peanut brands they also own king which is meant to be their rival brand which is actually quite funny because there's people over here that will uh it's kind of a joke but people fight over oh i'm a king lad and i'm a i'm a tato lad and they like fight each other like it's jokes and whatever <laughs> but um yeah they're both owned under the one one uh, company so, so and what then, i'm hearing is that tato is uh, is funding proxy wars in its crisp brands yeah. Tato is dividing the nation. <laughs> which is beautiful, really, if you think about it. It's peak Irishness. Well, right potatoes, there. the downfall of the Irish nation. Potatoes, the downfall of the Irish nation, and start civil wars. Both of them are just iconically Irish. But anyway, yeah, no, I was talking to Josh about this, and then he looked up Walkers. Yes. And the fact that they own tons of different stuff as well. Well, they own all sorts of, like, uh, brands over here. Oh, God, I'm going to have to Google this again. Um, but they had, like, uh, they had Bugles, they had uh, uh, Monster yeah, Munch, then <laughs> What's It's Quavers. Uh, uh, French fries, uh, French fries were their squares, yeah. Um, anyway, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, and are all owned by Lay's. Yes, because Walkers <laughs> itself was an English company that was sold to the to an American uh, uh, entrepreneur businessman yeah. uh, in the seventies, I think it was. Um, it might have been before that i can't remember but anyway the point is is it was sold to them uh, and they did typically american things and basically just spread it across the america world. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> so so this wonderfully typical uh this typically british brand uh is not so british and hasn't been for a while but i guess you could say that about a lot of things in the uk not really much is uh is the uk anymore uh yeah even even the the good old mini oh the mini tragic. That is actually tragic. Like that I, is. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Here. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, it's it's for the better. 
Uh, it's 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 better made by BMW than it is us. They were, I mean, they're notoriously shit and they still are, but at least the engines don't constantly explode. They now just occasionally explode, um, which is an improvement. Big upgrade, big upgrade. Yeah, huge upgrades uh, from Mini there, causing all sorts of things. But um, actually, that brings us to a good thing on the topic of businesses. Um, yes. So, so I've had a bit of a pastime, and I'm sure Craig probably has an Ollie. Pro- I mean, I've definitely told Ollie about half of these because I find it really funny uh, about companies that do everything, and I mean everything that you would not expect. Some of the ones that you'd find on the lists, like of companies that delve into uh, building defense things, except none of them are really for defense. But that's uh, that's the small print we don't read. Um, things like <laughs> Samsung. Samsung, the company most notorious for their phones and technology, you know, TV screens and and I mean, I didn't even know they did sound bars until not that long ago. Um, monitors, I mean, they do kitchen appliances. They Breaches. do, yeah. I mean, that's what the profile, that's what my profile picture is. It's a it's a smart fridge from Samsung. Samsung. Uh, they do everything, but um, they also made the uh, K90 self-propelled artillery piece, I think it was, which is That's beautiful. Yeah, which is used in South Korea, obviously, and I think Poland is the next country that uses a lot of them. Um, but they also do, um, they have a construction company under them, uh, architecture company, um, they do schools they have schools for fuck's sake this company is basically its own country this is full-on like cyberpunk type shit. yeah it's really really freaky when you actually like look into it it's really freaky i'm pretty sure didn't you we we looked into it and like samsung made up like 20 percent of um of the GDP south korea's gdp yeah yeah so 20 percent one fifth of all that south korea is worth is one company that is well, mad. I mean, it's technically multiple companies. Well, yeah, one it, it goes company. up it sums into under one this pair. one. Yeah. yeah, which is um, super cool. But then that led me on the rabbit hole of, well, what other companies have delved into the art of creating uh, weapons of war? Um, obviously, you have, you know, you we're not going. To, you have the heritage or the historical ones like Porsche, Volkswagen. Um, <laughs> Porsche. Hmm, I wonder yeah, what they so made. What they did. BMW, <laughs> sorry, not Volkswagen. Um, you have uh, Rolls Royce, which make jet engines and such. You have Mitsubishi yeah. that made uh, engines and such for the uh, Japanese fighter planes of World War Two. Um, but then you have um, more modern ones. <laughs> Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I would like to bring your attention to uh, a company called Texas Instruments. Uh, no, Not too much of your of your um, of your attention, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little. If you bring bit. too much to CIA, might be coming. Yeah, just, 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 just a little bit, please, please don't, please don't hunt me down. Uh, I live in Ireland. Um, Fuck. Um, <laughs> but yes, Texas Instruments. Um, they make. Uh, this is a company that is famous for making calculators. As well as javelins, as in the rocket launchers. <laughs> naturally, naturally. They make the sights on the that go on the rocket launcher, which do the computing, which I guess makes sense. Uh, it's you know? basically the same thing. Yeah, literally, if you know, it's just, just a glorified just calculator. Yeah, yeah, it literally is. <laughs> it makes sense. It's quite entertaining. I mean, Subaru made helicopters for the Japanese. They still do. Um, it's, I did not expect that. You know, those iconic Japanese helicopters that you can definitely think of. Yeah, the company that I... The name fails me now, but it makes the plastic for, like, Hot Wheels and Barbie dolls and stuff. Um, Is that not like a... Oh. Yeah, I'm pulling a blank on this one. But, oh. but like, the one specifically that makes the... Not the branding of a Hot Wheels, but, like, the company that makes the toys... Um, I'm sure Mattel also had something got Mattel. to do with them. Um... Oh, yes. Mattel did um, food rations and such. Uh, and you had... Uh, and the brand that, that makes the plastic for Hot Wheels and Barbie dolls and such things, um, they uh, manufacture gun parts. That's cool. You know, you got to bolster the bolster the cash flow somehow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, Barbie no ain't. She don't want Ken no more. <laughs> <laughs> she wants an AR-15. Let's go, boys. Parts for oh. weapons and and so on oh, and such. Gotta love it. I you mean, gotta love it. 
it is it is absolutely mental the list i i just i love it i think it's amazing oh lord no but i do gotta ask yeah <clears throat> this is for both of you but i would like ollie to to say a few bits here go ahead is a pringle a crisp yes what why what is it gonna be I don't know, man. It just it it just doesn't give me crisp vibes. It is it's just a weirdly flavor. No, it's like a wafer. It's more like a no, wafer. No, it's not. It's not. It's not a wafer's a biscuit. Like, nah, nah, it, it is like a wafer. It's it's nah, just, a wafer's nah. just a glorified biscuit they put in a weird. You're shape just a like glorified it. Scotchman. How about that? Yeah. What? Yeah. You're just a glorified <laughs> Englishman, right? Shut up. No, I'm a glorified <laughs> Welshman. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 Pringles are crisps. They they're are similar not, like, to wafers. Okay, okay, here's how they're similar to wafers. Wafers are glorified biscuits. Pringles are glorified crisps. But they Pringles are still crisps. I mean, but then would it not be a biscuit? No, that's not what I was saying at all. What are you if they're, if they're like if they're like but, wafers wafer, and wafers are like a wafer biscuits. Wafer is a glorified biscuit. Okay. And Pringles are like that. Pringles. Which means are the Pringles are then biscuits. Crisp. Like no. Pringles no, are glorified crisps, crisps which, which is how puts they are them, similar. Yeah. No, no, they're not the same thing at all. No, I think they're. Yeah, I yeah, think. Great. See, the thing is, is I sort of see the both sides of this argument. But they're, the thing is, they're just not crisps. Like, they're, if anything, they're their own thing. Like, if you you no, ask me what I did like, and I just said that they're like this thing, but really they are just in their own category. I mean, they are quite no. artificial to get benefit. They're incredibly bloody artificial. There, there's like no potato in that, and I, I can tell you, as an Irishman, there's no fucking potato in that because yeah, one, my body does not accept them. One one whiff of a Pringle, and he goes, "No, it's like a sniffer dog." But if potatoes yeah, look, have if, come if in contact, you, if, if you need like crack cocaine dog, but for p potatoes, I got you. Like I am that dog. I can do that. No problem. <laughs> They're hiding the potatoes in their suitcase. I will find them. I will find a bit of potatoes. But I'm telling you, Pringles just don't do it. They just ain't it cheap. I think I think you are shutting out of your ass. No, yeah, the Pringles have been coming out of my ass and not well. <laughs> so like no attack. <laughs> oh oh fuck's sake, that's just that is just Shock. too far that. Right? It just is. It just is. Oh, <laughs> Right. I, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know what to say now. I don't. How do we? What? What? What do we even move on to? I think. I think that is honestly kind of a perfect. Yeah, ending. I think first one uh, wrap it up there. I think. Yeah, Pringles. Oh, yeah, like, Pringles are coming know, out of my ass. Yeah, I think that well. is literally just, just a peak ending. Like that just sums up podcast. I. I, I think. Just chatting I think out your like ass. That. Yeah. And, and we're doing it again. So I'm going yeah. to intervene and say thank you very much to anyone and everyone who has joined us on this one. Um, it is, I mean, in the theme of nostalgia, which most of this video is about until the Pringles segment. Um, no, thank you very much. It was more than just a Pringles segment. Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of. Um, yeah, on the theme of nostalgia, the reason that we came back to it was actually the YouTube rewind definitive list. Um, and Craig was uh, saying about where's podcast. I mean, a few people asked me before, but I sort of shrugged it off and I, and after watching that and feeling some nostalgia, I thought, fuck it. Can't hurt to do some more. So anyway, I just wanted to say thank you very much for joining us once again. Um, hopefully I will get my shit together and make more in a semi consistent manner. Uh, I think, so. but 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 to be fair, when it comes to uh, beating the last uh, time difference, I think seven months. I, I've, there's a pretty good chance there should be something new in that time frame. How uh, about six months? We'll be back in six months. Oh, don't there. pace yourself. Come on, six and a half months. <laughs> like, oh, chill out. It's, it's you know, it takes effort to do these. That's true. Um, no, thank you very much for joining. If you would like to hop into the Discord to meet myself or any of the other people you've ever seen on all of the other podcasts and this one, including Ollie and Craig, uh, or even just come and chill out, play some games, have a laugh, then that will be in the link. The Twitch was a topic of debate before we started this <laughs> because 
we I will be returning to Twitch, yes. I will I will actually start Twitch streaming again and get off my lazy ass um and play some games. Um get on... off his lazy ass, sit back down in the gaming chair yeah, and play some games. And boot up a game and stream <laughs> it like a committed person that I am. Um Thank you very much. That's all that it is. Uh, if you liked it, please do leave a like. If you didn't like it, then do leave a dislike. That's fine. Any comments are greatly appreciated. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a good one.